What is going on, YouTube? AJ here. I'm doing a Let's Play. Final Fantasy XI Online. Retail. Bahamut server. And... Since last we met, I had said that I was going to level Samurai because it was gain XP, and I did just that. We got our Samurai to 49, and we got the last two levels of Dragoon to level 80, which is... Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see if we can start or finish the next level up quest. And then I think we're just gonna go crazy. We're just gonna go like, we're gonna try to do everything. Like this is going to be mega, mega crazy, I have no idea what I'm doing episode. Will you let me buy something from you? Nope. He still will not let me buy something from him. I feel as if I'm being discriminated against. Okay. I'm sure this will be a long winded. Hey, there's Pompa Romp. Oh, pretty cool name, Pompa Romp. Been working hard or hardly working, Kubo? Remember that pressing the merit points button in the status menu you can check merit points total, change experience accumulation modes, and adjust skills and attributes. Oh ho, Kubo. Or perhaps you're looking to transcend your limits because you, that could also be arranged. Let me guess, Kupo, you've caught word of my latest miraculous method for padding the already puissant, puissant powers of adventurers like yourself. Yes, the positively esurient expression, I don't esurient, I have no idea what that means. Uh, expression on your face tells me all I need to know. Is there no point at which your penchant for power will be sated, Kupo? It cannot be easy. Walking around is a veritable avatar of avarice and avidity. Still, of taking a liking to your kind, Kupo. And since you were such a wonderful guinea pig last time, I'd be positively elated to experiment upon you again. That said, I must warn you that this that I'm still working out some of the kinks. I can give you no guarantee this time. That is to say, don't come crying to me if your level of strength ends up plunging precipi precipitously. Tisley. Kupo, are you still keen for the challenge? Will I ever? Ever confident one, I see. Very well, go procure five kindred's crests needed for the procedure. And store your spiritual energies to the tune of four merit points, and we'll give it a go, Kupo. You sure you want to go ahead with this? This Moogle mumbo jumbo gets sketchier and sketchier each time, if you ask me. Well, if you ever need a refresher, you know where I'll be. There you go. Splendid. Superlative. In that case, without any further ado, yo hoo Mr. Meiji and Moogle Man. Over here, Koopo. Yes, yes, I'm coming already. And keep your voice down, will you? I can hear you hooting and hollering from a mom away. Seems the poor uh, fellow has resigned himself to his fate. Same deal as last time. Got it, Kupo? And today we'll also be recruiting the services of a spe very special guest. Howdy ho, fatty waddies. Oh, that's not very nice. Ladies and gentle moogles, I'm proud to present Parik Poranki, esteemed researcher of the interological magic from the Windhurstian Oristry, who was kind enough to take away... Uh, take time away from his data gather gathering 
for this special occasion. The self-styled brown mage? Why do I get the feeling we're in for a real mess this time? Honored to be here, my pudgy purpled winged friends. I've been hoping to test out my latest laxative spell, but lately my lab's been as barren as a set of freshly evacuated, evacuated bowels. That's nice. <laughs> this is just the belly bursting opportunity I've been looking for. To make room for a fresh fount of power inside you, we must first expel the old. A simple truth, no? My stomach's getting queasy just thinking about it. Very well, come kneel down right before me. Pariki Paranki, you may take your position over there. All right, prepare to have your innards turned inside out. And you, my friend, prepare to unleash the most vigorous volley of Moogle magic you can manage. Understood, I am ready whenever the rest of you are. Then let us begin. Gee, I sure this hope gee, I hope I sure hope this works. Bulging Billy? Was that it? Ah, oh, never mind. Burst. Oh jeez. Casting burst on me? My stomach gurgles and rumbles violently. And I am dead. Now, now, Kubo. Gushing fount of power explode from her bowels, coursing through her veins and limbs. Success, aha, glorious success. The last time I tried that one, I was scrubbing my lab clean for a month. I don't know who's more frightening, this uh, this fellow or the Moogle who brought him here. How curious, the more excru excruciating the pain they endure, the stronger these adventurers grow. Perhaps my trials are not as tortuous as, tortuous as they should, should be. Ahem, mm, nothing, nothing at all. You look fine, uh, you look... In the fine fettle, my adventuring friend, go out there and get him. Farewell. I can't thank you enough. Why, you're giving me enough da data to write a year's worth of reports. Next time you're feeling a little uh, backed up, you know who to call. That's pretty strange. Rejoice, Destructive, for the procedure was a staggering success. Whole new horizons wait out there, and I suspect you're feeling famished. Go and feast to your heart's content. All right. So 85. This is another uh, wonderful person that I can put on my B list. But uh, they don't make it easy with these names. Deg Stikola D H Joy Toy. Okay. Joy Toy. Okay, where, where, where? How about we... How about we... And we will go ahead and... Prepare our warp ring afterwards, but... We are going to zone in... To Zarkabard. We should be getting a cutscene, I believe. I told you this episode's gonna be all over the place. Destructive. Now that I have passed from the mortal realm, realm, I only have you to turn to. The time left to me is short. Thirty years ago, I came in contact with the insidious power of this land and rose from the grave. However, at the same time, this world laid claim to part of my soul. I have been released from the hate that consumed me, but half of my soul that was taken captive all those years is calling to me. It has become a towering darkness, a raging hatred spawned from the depths of my being. Very soon I will be drawn into that soul I no longer have the strength to resist. The soul was divided. Uh, the soul that was divided will become whole once more, and the rage will take on physical form. A new shadow lord, lord will be born. Surely you have sensed the growing evil. The beastmen armies that are imprisoned here are massing for battle. They plan to return to the world of their origin, the realm that exists beneath 
the light of hope. My link to you will soon be severed, so listen carefully. Thirty years ago, an expi expeditionary squad formed from the elite soldiers of each nation was sent to investigate the Northlands. You must have seen their memories when you first laid your hands upon the chunks of magicite. Seek out the markings that the expedition members left behind. They will aid you in gaining entrance to this world. You must defeat the Shadow Lord before our unification is complete. My hopes go with you, Destructive. Oof, my neck just cracked. Have not been sleeping good. Puppy has been waking me up. Like she'll sleep for like four hours and then wake up. You take her out. She'll go back to sleep and then she'll wake up. <laughs> and then she'll sleep for an hour, wake you up again. I was hoping for a dragon. Okay, do I need to check this? Do I need to check these trail markings? I don't know. While we're here, doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Do 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 do. Cutscene. Is it Busidine? Do I have to the Busidine one? Bosidine? Alright. Let's see if I remember. Um, let's see if. Well, I think I need to go to. Let's see. Loot blocks. Okay, so it looks like I have more to do. Oh, so what is it? Busidine? Do I put Busidine? Check those trail markings. Let's check these. Maybe we just have to check a random trail marking. Like a city one. And since these are right here, let's try that. Okay, so we can get to 85. I bet we can get. I bet we get some pretty good XP and Dynamis. you have met with Roagrim, his soul is no longer confined to that incarnation of rage, the Shadow Lord, yet the fact remains that he's committed sins beyond redemption. In spite of those sins, I still wish to rescue him from the darkness. I no longer have the mortal body with which to act, and so the most I can do is guide you in my stead. 
You will need the prismatic hourglass, a key that bridges the void between Manadiel and the other world. It is said there are items in this world that uh, gain a soul of their own through contact with the thoughts and dreams of other living creatures. The prismatic hourglass is one of those items. You must look for goblin peddlers. They are certain to have knowledge of the prismatic hourglass when you have it safely within your grasp. Seek out the markings that we left behind. Okay, so... So, so, so. Then one. You know what? We might even... Can we do that now? Well, well, I think we're gonna at least start. Back to, what was it, loot blocks? We do not have very much, um... What are these called? Tabs? I mean, 2,000 is an okay amount, but... Here we go again. Prismatic hourglass, you say? You got my draw dropping, kid. What'd you hear about a thing like that? Did you know some items have their own soul? After passing through the hands of hundreds of people, not to mention the paws of us beastmen, some items are transformed through contact with all those thoughts and feelings. These transformed items have the ability to focus mysterious powers. Us goblins often come across these weird pheno phenomenon. Phenomeno. Stuff in our travels. You know, if you really want the prismatic hourglass, I could sell you one for the right price. But, uh, let me tell you, Ken, only us gobs can tell if the item is sold. Not even other beastmen, and definitely not you people, can tell the difference between normal junk and priceless artifacts. Makes me laugh to see you mugs throwing away those items like they were garbage. A sold item is worth a fortune, and you ain't gonna get one cheap. 50,000 gil and not a single gil less. You had a problem with that, kid? So if you want one, stop dawdling already and hand over some money. Uh, what's that you got there? A timeless hourglass? Yeah, you got, uh, you got unusual tastes for a person. Got no clue what you've been doing, but I bet you got a lot, uh, got no use for it anymore. What say I lighten your loan in exchange for, say, 50,000 gil? So what are you waiting for? Hand that timeless hourglass right over here and let's make a deal. I don't have a timeless hourglass. What are you talking about? You really like your junk, huh? That's what this stuff looks like to most people. And you just spent a fortune on it. You're my kind of people, kid. By the way, don't give uh, out I don't give out receipts, and I don't take back items already sold. I don't know what you mean, uh, what you mean to do with the prismatic hourglass, and I don't much care, so take it and skedaddle. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we can do dynamic cities now. I don't think we could clear them at level 80 or 85. Maybe we can, I don't know. But we could definitely farm them. And probably limit our... I mean, we have a ton of space, so I mean, we can... We could keep a lot of uh, fun uh, gear if we want. Maybe we try to build a gung near, or whatever it's called. Gung near, gung gung jeer. If it's even worth it, I gotta read if it what, like. I really don't even know what what relics are worth it anymore. 
because apparently they're not that hard to build. But it's time consuming. And I don't want to consume time. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. Is that big hunk of junk yours? Huh? Um, I said, is that thing yours? Don't make me repeat myself again if you know it's good for you. This thing? Do you mean the airship? No, I mean the funny thing you're wearing on your head. Of course I mean the airship. Well, yes, the airship was built by the Republic's top engineer, Sid. All right, where's this Sid guy? Come on, bring him out. Uh, um, if you're looking for Sid, he should be in the laboratory in the metalworks. Got it. Now how the hell am I supposed to find this metalworks place? Okay, well, I think we're going to go to the metalworks. So we're going to get... So we've gotten what done so far? We've got... Dynamis unlock. We're gonna do the COP right here. Go visit Chompers. step. We shall see. Now I'm locked into place. Well, that was exciting, hmm? You looking for that rude and crude little girl? Well, you didn't say, uh, well, why didn't you say so? We thought she might have been causing trouble, so. So we threw the vagrant into one of our holding cells. Lady Cornelia has been keeping the girl company. Master Sid, have you, uh, sustained any injuries? I'm fine, I'm fine, but it's our little guest that I'm worried about. She seems pretty confused and upset. I was going to let her rest a while before I tried talking to her. Oh, don't worry, she hasn't done anything wrong. And there are no plans of punishing her any further. She'll be let go once we've for uh, sorted out a few things. Do you know what she was yelling about earlier? All this nonsense about airships and worm kings? I couldn't make heads or tails of it. What? Armored airships? Hooded scientists? Well, the scientists are probably the ones from Juno. As for the airships, all I can think of is they might be the ones... Oh, those teeth. <laughs> they might be the ones modified for battle during the Great War, but that was that project was cancelled after the Allied forces defeated the Shadow Lord's armies. Look at them move. They're hypnotic. I could, I could stare into those teeth all night. I know because I was a member of the project. Oh, now he's being shy about his teeth. Don't be shy, Sid. Twenty years ago, I get this invitation from the Duke himself to work on a secret project from the Duchy. Minus myself and a few other scientists from Windurst, all the rest of the people assigned to the project are those creepy, pale-faced men in dark, hooded robes. They rarely showed their faces in public, but from what I saw, the knowledge and technology they possessed was far superior to anything I'd ever seen anywhere in Vanadiel. Why the crystal propulsion unit they had developed was years ahead of its time, but it required an energy source more powerful than which uh, the eight element, uh, elemental crystals found in Vanadiel could provide. What were the Genoan scientists using the power of uh, their unit, and where did they discover that power? I was determined to find out, so I started watching them every chance I got. It wasn't long before I noticed they were conducting a lot of strange experiments around the crags of Mia. But I couldn't put my finger on exactly what they were doing. And now they've restarted the project. But why are they sending airships to Tabnasia? To catch Bama Bahamut, that's why. Sid, this is Pris. She's feeling much better than she was before. I think she's ready to talk. Thanks, Cornelia. So, Prish, first, let me apologize for keeping you locked up for so long. No hard feelings, alright? But I need to tell you... Uh, but you need to tell me, who is this Bahamut you keep talking about? 
Oh, you mean the Worm King? Well, everything was all fine and dandy until one day, all of a sudden, this huge dragon appeared in over my hometown. We were going to meet this dragon and try to knock some sense into him. Um, when out of nowhere, a huge airship contraption with all these huge guns and cannons flies up. We were right in the middle of giving the guys from the airship a sound beating until, poof, I'm warped to this hellhole. What? You were actually fighting against the duchy? The duchy? <laughs> hey, we weren't just going to sit there and let them kill Bahamut. Anyway, it was Juno who took the first shots. If I only had a little more time, I could have found out what, uh, what the Worm King meant when he was talking about the Keeper of Apocalypse. The Keeper of the Apocalypse? I've heard that name somewhere before. You've heard that name before? Hmm, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but I can sense something big is going down. At the same time, that telepoint at Dem shattered, I heard a report of a giant dragon appearing over the sea north of Juno. If that dragon was actually Bahamut, then we could conclude that the two events are in some way connected. Then that's all the more reason to get back to uh, Ravern and try meeting with the Worm King once one more time. Come on, let's head for Juno. Juno? After all that's happened, why would you want to go there? I've got an old friend who works at the Tenshoto. If I ask him, he'll be more than happy to ready a boat back to Tavnesia. Well, I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for all the hospitality. Hey, wait, how do you plan on traveling to Juno? Do you even know how far it is? Bahamut? Tavnesia? My ears are still, uh, my ears still doubt the conversation I just heard. Could it all be true? I guess the only way to find out would be to tag along with Prish uh, a little longer. She said she was going to Juno to meet a friend. Who do you suppose she knows in the duchy? Probably your mom, Sid. Oh! In your face, Sid. You got burned. <laughs> Not really. That was terrible. Okay. So, we're going to follow... I guess we follow COP for right this second. Mish Mash. Uh, Lower Juno. Tenshoto. Was there something else I wanted to do? There was. Let's go to Upper Juno first. too early for the dog to be crying. I was hired to craft armor for the shop, but all I ever do is watch over the inventory. I wanted to hone my skills repairing armor, but boy was I wrong. Armor is never repaired anymore, it's replaced. Not so with the works of old. No, they were precious and were often kept for generations. Of those, the most famous were the lost hands of Borget. Borgertz. You have heard of Borgertz, haven't you? Do you want to hear about Borgertz? Sure. 30 years ago, the legendary craftsman Borgertz wrought gauntlets, one pair for each job. So great was his craft, they say he must have sold his spirit to fiends. His gauntlets were as strong as steel, but light as a feather. But those masterpieces were lost in the Great War 20 years ago. Of course, it's all hearsay. Much... Uh, is told of Borgert's, but most of it is just legend. I once met a man who found a pair of Borgert's gauntlets, and where there's smoke, there's fire. The hands of Borgert's were lost in the war, but some people say they now rest somewhere in the Boyata tree. Well, you can believe what you want, but don't go trumpeting, the, uh, trumpeting to the customers now. I must get back to work. That's about all I know. You can go search that dungeon for yourself if you got nothing better to do. We artisans believe that artifacts like the hands of Borgard still rest in dungeons across Vanadiel. An adventurer like you should be able to find them.
<laughs> oh, that dog will not stop barking. Alright, well, let's go over here. My girlfriend must have put her, the dog in the crate, and she didn't do it right. I don't think. You gotta wait till she's, like, sleeping. You can't just put the awake dog in there. But who am I to judge? Wait right there. You must be extremely confident or extremely stupid to stroll back into Juno like this destructive. We just received final authorization from your home nation. You are under arrest. The charge is treason. How's a man supposed to sit back and enjoy a nice glass of Obu Obu brew with all this commotion? Now, is someone going to tell me what, what is going on here? Aldo, I apologize for my sudden intrusion. We are not here to cause any trouble for your business. We have only come to escort this criminal back to the palace. Criminal? Ah, it's the dead lady. Hey, it's me. Don't you remember? Whoa. Wolfgang, Wolfgang, take a look around you. Does this look like, a, look like a courthouse? This is my home, and all those in my home are my guests. You wouldn't be calling my guests criminals now, would you? Aldo, this adventurer is not just some petty thief. She's suspected of committing treason, treason against the uh, duchy. If you think you are thinking about harboring this menace to society, the Ducal Guard will be forced to take action. Action? You want to see some action? Just try laying a finger on one of my guests. Hmm, you never change, Aldo. Adventurer, if you know what's good for you, you'll come to the Grand Palace and turn yourself in once you're finished here. And don't even think about running. The warrant for your arrest has already been sent out across Vanadiel. There's nowhere to hide, destructive. Wow, so you're a criminal. Let me guess, they dumped you on uh, Tavnasia as part of your punishment, right? So what do you do? Robbery? Murder? Both? I see you two know each other. Yeah, this shady-looking, uh, or shabby-looking adventurer washed up dead on my private beach. I helped bring her back to life. Hey, wait a minute. Aldo, why not ask this lady? She'll tell you I'm not a liar. Alright, Destructive. Is this true? A small group of survivors have been living the southern tip of Tavnasia for the past 20 years? See? Now do you believe me? This thick-headed buffoon wouldn't listen to a word I had to say. Huh, some strange girl comes breaking down my door, screaming the name of my father. Altana, rest his soul. What was I supposed to do? What were you supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? The only person I could trust, hell, the only person I knew in this mainland was Grezo. Grezo? He told me that any time I was in trouble, he and the Ten Shoto would help me out. But now he's gone, and... Oh, well, you still get us a boat to us so we could go home, right? Hmm, that's not going to be as easy as it sounds. I still have nautical maps charting the way to the sea lion's den, but they're outdated. The currents in that area have changed a lot over the past 20 years. It would take one hell of a navigator to make it to Tavnesia in one piece. But then again, I only employ the best of the best. You may be in luck. Just a few days ago, another customer came to me asking to take him to Tavnesia. I was ready to tell him no as well until I saw a bag of gillies offering. Another customer? Why would anybody else want to go to Tavnesia? I don't know, I'm not in the business of asking questions, young lady. As long as I get paid, I could care less what he does over there. And I don't care if you tag along, but it's not for me to decide. You'll have to get the customer's permission. Oh well, as much as I was looking forward to a private cruise, I guess I can't complain. How thoughtful. And you, Destructive, why don't you go back to Tavnesia as well? You could lay low there for a while until Wolfgang's cooled off? No way. Destructive, if you're a real woman, you'll march your butt up to the Grand... Duke Palace and face your crimes. Tough on everyone but yourself, I see. Very well. We'll take some time to prepare, prepare the ship. I'll send a messenger when everything is ready. Until then, why don't you take a look around the city? Got it. Thanks, Aldo. All right, now it's time to have some fun. See you, Destructive. Maybe we get together again sometime, if you're still alive. Well, it looks like you should probably turn yourself in. This may be the only chance to try to prove your innocence.
Well, I was going to make this episode a lot longer. But I'm going to go have a check on that puppy. Play with her for half an hour and see if she'll settle down. If she does, I will be back and we can do more. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's about a half an hour, I think. Half hour long episode. Uh, I enjoyed making it. Until next time, take it easy, folks. Thanks for watching.